Hello leather workers and leather crafters. Today I'd like to share with you some of my leather working tools. I have the C.S. Osborne um, wing dividers there. Two different styles. I like both of those actually. Um, there's the 6 inch. I prefer the 6 inch over the 8 inch. Um, C.S. Osborne scratch compass. Um, a sharp point knife. Um, IP Hyde makes those or C.S. Osborne. They're very durable knives. And I used a lot of the curved blade knives and I really like that lock jaw knife I recently purchased. Um, my round knives, I have a weaver and uh, two uh, C.S. Osborne's there and then a round knife that I made over at the Bit and Spur shop. I made that myself out of a uh, saw blade. A saddler saw. This is the large one that C.S. Osborne makes. I rework all the tips on mine and kind of work that shaft down. And I have quite a collection of those. Um, C.S. Osborne Western Edger. I use number one, two, and three. Mainly a number two. I have a set of uh, Barry King Edgers also in one, two, and three sizes. Uh, saddlers all in half. I have a selection of those that I use for my hand sewing. And that's a turn up uh, heel uh, edger there by Weaver I really like. And uh, that's a number D uh, hammer, saddler maker's hammer uh, that I've used for about 40 years. Um, nippers for nipping your copper rivets and a setter for setting the uh, uh, rivet and burr. And a C.S. Osborne splitting gauge. Um, that's one I've slicked up and reworked a little bit. It's got a good blade in it. Easy to sharpen. And uh, I always keep the blade turned down so uh, it's safer that way when it's not being used. A snap setter for uh, belt snaps and the uh, durable snaps. Um, I've got some more pieces that go to that set, but it's good to have that. A set of hand punches. I use the uh, a number one, a two, and a three. Then I have a four, five, and six. And then I jump to a number eight hand punch and number ten. That's the numbers I use the most. Um, keep the tubes dried and cleaned out if you punch wet leather. And uh, those punches are uh, since 1981, so they're quite old and still in good shape some uh, axe covers there that i made recently and riveted those together i thought i'd just share with you the tools i use daily and it's a good starting place um, if you're getting into leather working or saddle making um, then i have a bench here it's been in a family a long time there's a steel plate there i use for riveting uh, copper rivets and um, there's a little anvil that is very handy for riveting and I use that in my saddle making for certain parts uh, collection of tools there some vintage old tools that it's been in the family a long time now I'd like to show you my tooling and carving bench and the tools that I use most of the time that piece is uh, granite what I tool on there and it's uh, 18 by 22 by 4 inches thick. That's my tools I use quite often. <laughs> I know I sound like a broken record sometimes with my craft tools but uh, I just keep repeating that. Um, I got some Barry King Malls. Uh, that sprayer from Tandy. I really like it. My swivel knives. I've got a uh, Dwayne Watts, Damascus, and two Barry Kings there, one with a 3 8 barrel and one with a half inch barrel. I like both of those. Um, various uh, malls I use. The Mall Masters are really good, the Mall Master 1 and 2. And then I've got a lightweight mall over there that Frog Jelly gave me. Uh, there's a weight that is Babbitt, um, it's got a leather covered bottom on it. And there's a sampling uh, piece of scrap leather that I just picked up and uh, 
practice on. And then uh, there's a tool holder right there. I don't keep all of my tools out, just a few. Um, uh, I don't like to show off all of my tools. Uh, in fact, I just use a six or seven uh, most of the time when I'm tooling a project. And uh, I've got some of uh, those, uh, I've got paint brushes and then the uh, felt tip uh, markers. Here's my, uh, one of my splitters. That thing really gets sharp and uh, cuts real good like belt blanks and strips. It will thin them down. Um, that's a good tool. And then this old time splitter here looked just like that when I got it in 1981. Um, it's uh, really a good old leather splitter. That's a seven iron cutting pad I got from Southern Leather Company. It's seven I. Uh, it's a heel material actually. That's what I do my cutting on. And then there's my leather uh, tools that uh, I showed you a little bit earlier. I appreciate you watching this. Thank you.